now we'll start with the second question of set C second question of set C in a study relating to the laborers of a jute mill in West Bengal the following information was collected 20% of the total employees were females and 40% of them were married 30 female workers were not members of trade union. Compared to this, out of 600 male workers, 500 were members of trade union and 50% of the male workers were married. The unmarried non-member male employees were 60, which formed 10% of the total male employees. The unmarried non-members of the employees were 80. On the basis of this information, find the ratio of married male non-members to the member married female non-member we have to find the ratio of the married male non-member to the married female non-member okay so let us begin with the answer this question has various components in this okay the first thing is there were some laborers in a jute mill and out of them we have male and female okay so the laborers are consisting of both male and female and the total employees, whatever is the total number of employees, out of that, the percentage of female is 20%. Okay, so what we will do is, here if you see, till the end of the question, the total number is not given. Okay, the total number of employees is directly not given. Okay, before computing the number of total employees, we will first see if it is actually required to be computed. Okay, now we will take the total total is male plus female okay then we have out of the total we have some male and we have some are female now we will put male as m and we'll put female as f okay here 20 percent of total employees were females we will put in brackets here 20 percent okay 20 percent given 20 percent were females and 40 percent of them were married so out of the females out of the females we have married and unmarried category and 40 percent of them were married so we are told that 40 percent are married people okay so this much is clear then we'll go to the next line 30 male female workers 30 female workers were not members of trade union and they are now talking about trade union membership so we have to divide the two categories of married and unmarried into trade union and, and non-trade union. Similarly, for unmarried also, we will say trade union and non-trade union. Now we understand the structure. The structure is total number of people are there, out of which some are male, some are female. Male is 20 and female is, sorry, female is 20 and male is the balancing figure which is 80, 80%. 80 okay, and out of the male and female, we have both married people and unmarried people and out of the married people we have trade union members and not trade union members similarly out of unmarried also we have trade union and non-trade union okay till here it is clear what is happening next is 30 female workers were not members of trade union 30 is the number number of female workers who were not members but they are not telling us whether they are married or unmarried that means whether they are married or unmarried it does not matter the total number of people females who were not members of trade union is 30 30 is given okay it's given that it is 30 not members out of female okay so after that compared to this out of 600 male workers 600 male workers so this means the total number of male workers is 600 here they are telling us that the total number of male workers is 600. Out of these 600, 500 were members of trade union. 500 were members of trade union means irrespective of whether they are married or unmarried, the total number of members belonging to trade union was 500. And 50% of the male workers were married. 50% of male workers were married means out of 600, we have 50% married so it is 300 the number of male workers who are married was 300 therefore the remaining the balancing figure is 
300 which is unmarried this also we can easily find out okay till here it is clear okay the next line says that the unmarried non member male employees were 60 unmarried non member male employees were 60 so this is the figure which is given 60 which form 10% of total male employees now we know that the male employees were 600 in number 60 is the non trade union members out of unmarried that forms 10% of 600 this information is given to confuse us this is not required okay it's not useful for our question let's go to the next line the unmarried non members of the employees were 80 the unmarried non members of the employees they are saying employees employees refer to both male and female unmarried non member means we have this value this value and unmarried non member here this value the total is 80 this total is 80 okay now we have to find out that's it they have given us all the information that they can and they are asking us to find the ratio of married male non member to the married female non member male married male non member to married female non member let's see where all we need to fill up the values okay now we know that 60 is the total number of non trade union members out of unmarried male and the same figure okay the total for these two unmarried category is 80 so obviously here we have we can find out this as 20 this is the balancing figure unmarried female who were not members of trade union okay this is 20 that's one thing then what we should do is we have the total of non trade union members whether married or unmarried they have told us that the total is 30 out of that unmarried is 20 so obviously this figure is 10 so female married non trade union is 10 okay this is also found now let's go to the question let's see what they're asking us they're saying find the ratio of married male non member married male non member so we need to find out this one okay this ratio to the married female non member married female non member that is already found out this is 10 okay we just need to find out this value if you have this value we can find out the required ratio okay now look at the question here they have told us that 300 is the total male unmarried people 300 and not members were 60 so the total members is the balancing figure 300 minus 60 which is 240 240 next we'll go on to the this portion okay here we know that the total unmarried male who belong to trade union is 240 the total number of such people whether married or unmarried in the male pe male category were 500 so this number can be found out this is the balancing figure 500 minus 240 which is 260 okay so we know this figure 260 and we know this figure okay now we just need to find out this figure we already know that the married male is 300 out of which those belonging to trade union is 260 obviously the answer for this is 40 this is the balancing figure so this has also been derived now what are they asking find out the ratio of married male non-member married male non-member is 40 okay and married female non-member is 10 so required ratio is equal to 40 by 10 which is equal to 4 is to 1 so this is option c this is the answer